about entertaining yourself if you just got raided and arrested in uh, Romania with someone named Greedy. Something bad is about to happen. People who attack me and try and have me delete this with me, they don't donate any money to charity. They don't want to do anything but spread hate. Right now they hate me. When I'm wrong, they hate someone else. So the, the, the truth is this. So I, I knew it was coming. I absolutely not only knew it was coming because of how orchestrated it was. The only thing, and I'll state this at the beginning, the only reason I'm upset by being canceled is because I've expired one of my lives. Because first you get canceled, then they make up a reason to put you in jail. And if that fails, they kill you. So now I'm down to my last two lives, which is also why while I'm answering this question, I'm still being careful how I'm answering it. I'm not telling it's you scary everything. shit. It's scary because I've they've now they've given me the warning and I'm still running my mouth. Yeah. So that's scary. But here's how cancellation works. So I knew it was going to happen because there's very, very orchestrated attacks. So NGOs and charities and all these other... We are genuinely actually living inside of the Matrix. They want you to do your job well enough for them to benefit, but they don't want you to think outside of that job. You're all expendable. Do you understand? We are at the beginning. This is not coming to an end. They are trying to reduce you to a QR code. If you don't get rich, and you don't get a powerful network of people very, very quickly, fuck. I actually truly believe they're going to try and kill me. I understand that you get three strikes in this game. Strike one is they try and shut you up and discredit you. Strike two is they try and put you in jail for no reason. And strike three is they kill you. Release some greenhouse gases. I'm obviously a stranger to online controversy. It's not something I often do. But now, the mainstream press is commenting on the fact that I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion engines, which run on dead dinosaurs, had an enormous emission profile. And she replied by telling me her own email address. Greta's email address is, I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? Strange. I mean, also, I don't want to assume her gender. It's 50-50, but... It is what it is. I'm not actually mad at Greta. Please bring me pizza and uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. Thank you. So I'm not actually mad at Greta, right? Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's a slave of the Matrix. She thinks she's doing good. Someone has sat her down and convinced her to try and convince you to beg your government to tax you into poverty to stop the sun from being hot. And then, because I called her out on it, the global matrix got this bot farm to like and retweet and all this bot commenting to try and pretend that her telling me that she has a small dick in her own email address somehow teaches me a lesson. Welcome to a new episode of The Clown Show. But now I know, at least, that Greta, with a little hate-filled face, bitter, sitting somewhere without the heating on, in the cold, a little hat, shivering, <laughs> used my tweets, which is going to make my Twitter account far more fun into eternity. Nobody likes her at all. So, as usual, Tate, Andrew Tate has the solution. I officially invite Meghan Markle to cook me chicken. Because if she's black, it's gonna taste good. I know, I've been around the block, I'm brown enough to tell. When Meghan Markle cooks me a chicken dinner, I know she doesn't cook shit for Harry. When she cooks me a chicken dinner, I will then confirm if she is black or not. Cause I have a strong suspicion she's full of shit. 
So Andrew Tate just got arrested. Now there's a video of his arrest that I will play for you real quick. In case you don't know what's going on, the Romanian police detained Andrew and his brother Tristan in connection to a human trafficking investigation. I'll update y'all as more comes out about all of this. It turns out Greta might have gotten Andrew arrested. That's because when he responded to Greta and had that Jerry's Pizza box in his video, that's all authorities needed to know he was in Romania. And they knew exactly where he was. Andrew Tate told me, if you have mind control, you have the world in your hands. If you can literally think in your brain and show yourself how you're going to get there and show yourself what you can't be doing and what you need to be doing, the world is yours. So as you guys might already know, Andrew and Tristan Tate have now gotten locked up for some fucking false ass accusations. Accusations! These are not accusations. This is false accusations. My guy got caught up by a fucking pizza box, bro. A Romanian fucking pizza box. This just fucking shows you, bro. And I say it all the fucking time. Watch what you put online, on your story, on IG, anywhere, bro. Because you might be educating your enemies. You might be educating your enemies and you don't even fucking know it, bro. You're just posting shit. Alright, so stay fucking woke and do not post stupid shit. She thinks she's doing good. Someone has sat her down and convinced her. And then, because I called her out on it, the global matrix got this bot to like and retweet and all this bot commenting to try and pretend that her telling me that she has a small dick in her own email address somehow teaches me us. You cannot stop, you cannot give up. Most of you are happy to be losers part time. You want to escape, you don't want to be a loser anymore. But then that new video game comes out. Ah, I'll just play the video game, I'll just be a loser for two more weeks, then I'll get back to trying to escape the Matrix. It doesn't work that way, because you jump in and out of complacency, from I'm happy to be a loser and do loser things, to I can't be a loser anymore. You cannot quit, you cannot give up, you need that momentum to break free. When a rocket is flying out towards the moon to escape the atmosphere, it doesn't fucking pause halfway up the sky, does it? It keeps going. There are things happening, conversations happening that you're not watching. Information that could be the one little piece of information you need to break out. It could be that one little sentence that changes everything, but it ain't easy. It ain't gonna be given to you on a plate. You're gonna have to work. You're in competition with the entire world. Everyone wants to escape. You cannot be lazy. You are the only person who can make this work and you're also the only person who can fuck this up. Andrew Tate's last tweet before death. Challenges. It's all an opportunity.